Hey guys, and welcome to our Infinite Flight gameplay uh, review. Uh, we'll look at the menus first, and then we'll go ahead and uh, take off from somewhere, just to show you the controls. We have a solo mode and a live mode. The live mode, uh, uh, you have to have a subscription, so you can fly with other players from around the world. So we'll go with the solo mode. I'll have the link uh, for the, the Play Store, um, the Play Store link in the description below the subscribe button. Uh, this costs five euros in Europe, obviously. I think it's five dollars in uh, US as well. So it has planes. Uh, the obviously it has planes. The green ones are available. The uh, yellow ones or orange ones, you have to buy them. Uh, it has anything from uh, an Airbus A380 or all the way to an FA18. Uh, to a P-38, to a space shuttle, even a Spitfire. So you want to have a shortage of planes uh, from the get-go. And we can choose our airports. Now, this is the same as the planes, uh, available in green and uh, orange is to be purchased, but these are not airports. These are maps, these are territories. So if you choose the Charlotte map, you have 216 airports there. Amsterdam 93, uh, Chicago 564, so you will not be running out of airports anytime soon. You can also choose to land uh, to whatever airport you want, uh, or runway as well, uh, or you can choose to take off, in which case we'll do a whole, you have to do a whole flight, because you have to land the plane as well. You can choose the weather, visibility, wind direction, wind velocity, and more, and you can choose the time. So noon, night, sunset, whatever. So we'll fly, I think, just to show you uh, the controls. Uh, you control the airplane with the accelerometer of the, uh, of the phone. So let's tap. Okay, so there we go. Uh, on the right we have spoilers, gear, brakes, flaps, trim, autopilot, rudder, uh, change cameras. You can have a cockpit view. Not every uh, plane has the cockpit view um, available. You can have an outside view and move around. Uh, an actual view from an A380, because this really is an actual view. And some others as well. So we'll go with this one. On the left we had speed, heading, altitude, and rate of ascent or descent. Uh, this is to lock in. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. And this is just uh, to lock in for the autopilot. Okay. Uh, so we'll do that once we take off. Uh, we can change the page and come to uh, the map. So here's the map with the amazing amount of waypoints and the plane is moving. Stop moving plane, thank you. Um, whatever. Uh, so this is the map, we can choose a waypoint or a runway for that matter and we can say that we'll add it and we want to go there. And if you press map, you can see the heading, uh, distance, and estimated time uh, that you will be there. Now, you do have a page with... Okay, I'm crashing this. You do have a page with no smoking, seat belts, nav lights, landing lights, beacon lights, strobe lights, which are not really relevant. So let's do a takeoff, the worst takeoff in the history of the world. You can see the plane. This will not take off in time. I'm not seeing it. But anyway, we'll try. And... We're in the air. We're airborne. Okay, so... Okay, gear is up. And since we set, we can set now a speed, let me do this, we can set in, I don't know, 200 knots, heading, oh this is a, yeah, uh, altitude and a rate of ascent of, I don't know, 100 feet per minute. And set the autopilot and lock in the altitude, the heading and the speed and now the plane will figure everything out. Uh, and you can have, now you have time to look at your map, look at uh, where you're going, how much time, what heading you should uh, follow. And you can change all of this from here, and we can do a seat belts on, off, no smoke. 
these don't really have a, you know, they're not really, they don't do anything because you can't see in the plane. But anyway, uh, so this is uh, Infinite Flight. It's, I think it's a very good simulator. It's not the best out there for sure, uh, but it is a good simulator and I think it's, you can try it. Uh, you can try it. The Play Store, I think, has already changed. To, and you can change heading and everything from the autopilot, you don't have to go back to manual. Uh, the Play Store has changed its policy and now I think from now on it's two hours that you can refund your purchase. Uh, don't quote me on that yet. Uh, but you can download it, 5 US uh, I believe or 5 Euro and um, try it out and if you don't like it you can also always uh, get a refund. So this was uh, Infinite Flight uh, for Android and uh, I'll see you in the next video.